Hi there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd, and today I thought I'd share with you some strategies that I use here at Garden Nerd headquarters for small space gardening. When growing things in a small garden, you need to get as much in there as possible. And so I use a couple of techniques, namely square foot gardening and grow biointensive methods to grow things in a biointensive fashion. Biointensive means it's an umbrella term for growing a lot of stuff in a little bit of space. And square foot gardening was invented by Mel Bartholomew back in the 70s, and he created a grid system instead of long rows that economizes space, seeds, and water. And so we use that here at Garden Nerd. Uh, John Jevons created Grow Biointensive, and that is his book, How to Grow More Vegetables Than You Ever Thought Possible on Less Land Than You Can Imagine. And in both square foot gardening and grow biointensive, there are tricks to getting the most out of the space. So I'm going to share some of that with you today. The first example I want to show you is a way of getting a lot of stuff together that maybe grows at different times so you can overlap these plantings without uh, crowding everything out. So let's take a look. As you can see in the video here, I've got three squash, one, two, and three, planted in a triangle. And on either side of them, I have a patch of radishes growing in the space that would otherwise be occupied. Uh, by the squash when they grow in. And then I've got a row of lettuces, and I'll talk about that in a minute. The cool thing about growing squash and radishes together, or melons and radishes together, is that radishes come to fruition, they mature in 30 days. So by the time the squash or the watermelons grow in and take up the space, you've already harvested those radishes. Now you can use this technique for not just radishes, but you could use arugula or cilantro or parsley, things that grow kind of quickly but maybe don't like so much heat. So once the squash grows in and co they'll cover them and then you get a little bit of shade and the plants will still grow. So it's kind of a cool thing. The next thing I want to show you is another 4x4 square foot bed and more squash. But there's some cool techniques to talk about here. Come on. This is another 4x4 square foot bed at Garden Nerd headquarters and you can see there are sweet potatoes that are popping up kind of all over the place. But in between I have a triangle of squash, squash, and squash. Uh, I've made a, a circle with my drip irrigation to water the squash as it grows in and the sweet potatoes are popping up because that's what they do here in Southern California. They never, never die. Now that bed is an example of something called interplanting or some call it polycultures where you're layering at least two or three different plants together that take up different root zones and different nutrients and have different harvesting times. So the sweet potatoes are perennial here in Southern California. They don't die back. We don't have to plant them uh, more than once. I planted those sweet potatoes six years and every year I get a bushel of sweet potatoes. They're small, but they're, you know, food, free food. What else could you ask for? So those get harvested in November and then I can use the space, I can use that bed to plant something in the winter, but in spring they start coming back, but I'm still going to plant something because I want my bed space. And so I put some squash in there and their vines are going to mingle together, but the roots of the sweet potatoes are growing underground and the squash is going to be growing above ground and it's really not going to compete too much. In this same bed, I have grown corn interplanted with the sweet potatoes, where the corn is growing up very tall, of course, and the sweet potatoes, the vines have woven through the corn and serve as a cover crop, basically. They're a living mulch that keeps the roots cool, the water in place, and uh, the corn doesn't seem to be bothered by it. So utilize your garden space on levels to make the most of it. Now let's revisit the square foot gardening planting technique that you saw in the first video with the lettuces. Check out this bed. This is another 4x4 raised bed at Garden Nerd headquarters and it is planted primarily square foot gardening style. We've got three square feet of spinach in the front and those are planted nine per square foot. I grew those from seed. I've got this row of lettuces. These 
four uh, and four here lettuces were planted from plugs so they're a lot older than the little guys in the middle that I planted from seed and they're four per square foot. The next row is mustard greens and arugula and they were also planted from seed four per square foot. And then the last row is on this trellis these are asparagus beans and they're growing they're four per square foot but they're actually just along the trellis one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so it's sixteen plants along this trellis and they're going to grow up and not take up any more space than four square feet total so you can grow a lot of stuff and a little bit of space with square foot gardening method like this now let's talk a little bit about grow biointensive when I am growing something, a lot of one thing, say wheat or corn or uh, some other crop like onions or garlic or something like that, I want to get as many as I can in that small space. So what I do is use Grow Biointensive, which uses offset rows or hexagonal planting. And the way hexagonal planting works is imagine a grid and your first row has plants in box one, three, and five. And your second row has plants in box two, four, and six. And then the third row, one, three, and five, and so on. This means all the plants are equidistant apart and as they grow in they form that living mulch that I was talking about before. It makes it really efficient and you can get a lot into a small space. I use this for growing corn, uh, wheat, all the grains, oh quinoa fun, and, uh, and I even use it for growing garlic as you can see in this picture. They're all just crammed in there together and they grew bigger than, uh, well look at the picture, bigger than a quarter. Cool huh? Try those different methods and see what works for you. Don't limit yourself to just what I've talked about. Try scattering green onion seeds beneath your chard. I did that once and I got two crops in the same space. It was great. There's a never ending list of possibilities that you can do with interplanting and square foot gardening and grow biointensive. For more information on both of those things, visit gardennerd.com. And of course, I talk about this in my book, Gardening for Geeks. And while I'm at it, I should mention, these videos come out every two weeks, but in between, there's a podcast. Check out iTunes or wherever you stream for the Garden Nerd Tip of the Week podcast. We are always talking with really interesting people who are sharing their stories and giving their favorite tip of the week. So check out GardenNerd.com and don't forget to subscribe to Garden Nerd's YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notifications so you can find out when our next video comes online. Happy gardening!